it's very good to take breaks. You have to slow down in order to speed up. We're gonna be moving out of this place here in Melbourne, moving down to Warrigal until this whole coronavirus situation is pretty much over. In Warrigal, I don't have a setup at all. I'm not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with this computer, how to unplug it and everything. I don't know, there's so many bloody cables. Am I hacking the mainframe? Mainframe has been hacked by Hayden Pedersen. What does that sound? So we've come to that part of the story where we're, we've we've come into the conundrum. If we don't fit everything that we need in the car, that means that we'll have to drive down, drop the stuff off, come all the way back up, which it's like an hour and a half drive, and then we do it again and all over. It's really not that big of a deal. It's just a minor inconvenience. It's just time taken away from me doing my thing. But the thing is, this thing is a big ass chungus, and I don't know if it's. Oh my god, I have no idea what is going on here. Oh shit. Uh, thread the needle. Oh, oh. Can we give dad a call and ask him if he wants he might, to help? He might. We were thinking you wouldn't want to come up today, would you? No. No. <laughs> bend with the hips, lift with the back. No, lift with the legs, bend with the back. Bend with the lips, bend your lips on with the back. Gonna break me back. No, don't, don't do that. Do you want to put it on the back okay, seat? Okay, that just straight. Do you want to put mark. it on the back seat? Right. Well, I suppose you're all staying here. Be good while I'm gone. Don't move. Don't get up to any mischief. I don't know about you, but I'm uh, excited to go down to Warrigal because it's gonna be. Yeah, we don't have any light. Let there be light. My neighbors definitely heard that. Um, I think I've said this before, but going uh, to the country, having that contrast of being able to go down to the country with like all the fresh air, the wide open spaces and all that is, uh, it's so good because it's such a contrast to the city. The city life is like busy. It's hustle and bustle. It's like go, go, go. And you know what? Because dad has actually lived in America pretty much our whole lives because his business was over there. All of us being together in the same place, me, Josh, Nicola, mum, and dad, I can't remember the last time our whole family was together so are you excited to be spending uh, a, a good amount of time with the family of course i am yeah it's gonna be great Look. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! we have arrived in the small town of Warrigal. I am excited to be here. Right, ready? <sighs> ah, fresh air, I can breathe. Isn't that dandy? <laughs> This is the first time I've been in this house since way before going to America. Last time when I did come down here, we weren't even allowed to go into the household because they were being all particular about the quarantine. Separate, you should. You're too close. You I'm not that, that close. You, you, were, you were that far away from Josh. Oh, the camera was fine. Away, which is completely fair enough, but first time I've been in the house in a very long time, so. One small step for man. One giant, ooh, Del. Hey, hey. You wanna say hello? Hello, lovely. Hello, Poppet. I had so much peace and quiet. Oh, yeah, but... It was so nice. And now you're here. <laughs> yeah! Well, you're gonna have to get used to me for the next five, Minutes? Five minutes? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back in the house. Don't I'm back in the house. Coming down to Warrigal, spending time with the family not only lets myself recharge my batteries so I can feel sane and more mentally sound, but also on top of that, I'm shedding another layer of, a, a, another layer 
of insecurity, which is the fear of losing relevancy because I haven't uploaded in like four or five days. Going longer than two days is like, it, feel, it makes me feel like guilty, like anxious kind of thing. Me forcing myself to spend time with my family rather than spending time like executing on videos and putting it out there based on the fear of losing relevancy makes me face that fear and now I feel a lot more like, I suppose like in control of my life because I'm like, you know what? Like I don't need to upload all the time. It's absolutely fine to take breaks. If anything, it's very good to take breaks. You have to slow down in order to speed up. Now I'm here in Warrigal. I'm keen to get back into the flow of things and maybe just like slow it down just a little bit. Question of the day. Uh, where, when did you want to choose photography as a profession and any plans of getting a Subaru as, as like the boys? I never really chose photography as a profession. I more just like started off doing event photography because I wanted to get invited to more parties. I went to more parties and the more parties I went to and I took photos there, I was like, hey, this photography thing is kind of fun. I've never really like thought of like choosing it. It's not like, oh, I choose to be a photographer. I choose to be a filmmaker. It's just what I choose to do. It's not what I choose to identify myself as. I don't know if that makes sense. As uh, for the Subaru, no. What I do want to get is a Tesla because I want to do uh, good for the environment. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.